When when money comes in, I can love anybody. <laughs> if 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 a prostitute said, "Hey, I want to pay all your bills and just have your company," I love you. You going down on her? <laughs> Slow down. That's 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 love. That's falling back in love. She's just like that's her love language. <laughs> well, we don't do that. Y'all know? No, we don't do that. But she's making your life easier. Do you ain't got to pay no bills forever? But. I love her. Once I get off work, you go downtown. I got your bills covered. You know what's great about acts of kindness or act, uh, services? Mm -hmm. We tend to cater, like, be more compassionate about their purpose in life. It's like, hey, man, I, uh, I, I, remember, I remember you had that complaint about the... Your car note, and I, I know you said you, and I, I just, I just paid for that, man. I, I paid for it. You're like, that's what's up. Man, thank you, man. How's your mom doing? You look like, now all of a sudden you want to kind of care to them. You want to be like, good looking. And feel ungrateful. <laughs> and you just walk off. You got to be like, man, what, I mean, this is a blessing, man. What can I do for you? Right. I can't, if someone gives me a compliment or gives me a gift, I'm immediately feel like, damn, now I'm obligated to serve them with something. You can't just be like, yeah, you better. Now you owe me forever. <laughs> you can't just take a gift and just, and just be like, oh, I got to, uh, all right. I mean, if it's something that's really meaningful, mm -hmm. I can see a, a re-gifting gift. Like, I know what you're doing right here. Mm -hmm. You don't like turquoise ties. <laughs> I don't, I don't give ball. gifts, like hardly ever. Even to like uh, my wife or daughter, I don't really, I'm not a gift buyer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, like, I think it's weird to buy somebody a gift. It's not weird. I don't, I think if it's, it's something that they really want. I just go like you're not six. You know what I mean? If it's something they really want and and you and you happen to find it or you came across it or you had a deal on that's that's still a gift. Even if it's a free if it if it's a gift free to you and you gave it to her, that's still a gift. It's it's a big thing because I don't like getting gifts. I go like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? It's still a gift. If if you knew uh, David no, oh, I can't think of his name. And wasn't it Andrew Stern? I can't think of his name. Something stern. I can't think of who that. What, what does he do? It doesn't matter. The uh, the general manager of uh, the NBA. Clippers. David Stern. Oh, the racist dude. Yeah. Okay. What about him? Donald Sterling. Okay. He was like, "Hey man, I got a lifeline, lifetime supply of Clipper tickets. I can't do anything with it because obviously I'm banned. <laughs> uh, so, hey, I heard your wife is a uh, huge fan of the Clippers. Mm -hmm. I want to give this to you so possibly you give to people. Like, hey man. Thank you, but I don't give gifts to wives. Right. You gonna say that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you asshole. You a damn lie. Hey, man. Verbatim. I apologize, but oh, I would love to, but uh, Dion, he's a bigger Clipper fan. What if I just give it to you? <laughs> hey, Dion, I don't give gifts to wives. And you but... go back and brag to you about it. Yo, guess who just... came to me, man? <laughs> Dion just came up with Clipper tickets. <laughs> how? Wait, how? I gave it to him. He came to me. So he he was at Harvard Studios. He he found out that you. But I also I would tell him like, yo, you don't want gifts from a racist. Like you live and love a black person. You have a black daughter. She's Everybody's like, racist. Well, you know. What is what's the definition of racist? I don't know. I, I don't like when people make their own definitions. They'll be like, you can't be racist to me because you don't. What is it? You have to like systematically control somebody's financial yeah. ability and somebody would tell you like you don't have the power to make to be racist to I don't know. Cuz if you say a racist phrase or a stereotype, yes that is a racist uh gesture, but doesn't make you a racist. Do you agree? I like think just because I I delivered a baby doesn't mean I'm a gynecologist. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Or oh, not what is it? What is it? Uh, it's some kind of baby yeah. doctor. So so I did it one time. I'm, I'm not officially like certified racist. It's like if I did like, hey nigga, it's like yeah I said something that was racist, but it's like I did this to hurt you. That makes sense. Nah, that's pretty racist. That's very racist. <laughs> hey <laughs> hey coon. That's too. What, what is the border? <laughs> hey black. Black bastard? If somebody called me a black, you blacks are all the same. I'd be like, I don't like the tone there, buddy. Yeah. You African Americans. Yeah. Well, that's nice of you to say politely. I don't like mm -hmm. your tone behind it. Knowing that this woman has raised numerous black people in mm -hmm. her house and adoption and mm -hmm. foster care, you do something very niggerish. Mm -hmm. And she was like, don't mess up for your people. Don't be like them. Don't be like the other blacks. The one that we look down upon. That sounds racist. I'd be like, she, she got a point. <laughs> <laughs> and 
you see, you see a black kid like, Mom, it's okay. No! I know how good y'all can be. <laughs> and you immediately hand the purse back to the old lady. There you go, I'm man. <laughs> My white mother said I was being too black. <laughs> Uh, what makes somebody? I, I man, my my, I don't. You don't have to do much for me to call you racist. It's very vague for me. If you say something, do something, uh, in that in the spite way to a uh, marginalized community of people. Like I was somewhere. I was uh, doing security down. T- uh, I used to do security at. I forgot what the. It was at UCLA. I forgot what the bar was called. Um, but I was doing, I was uh, uh, security. Anyways, so there was this white dude outside, and I was talking to, uh, uh, it's, he's Pakistani, Indian, I'm not exactly sure, mm-hmm. okay? But um, he was like, uh, this dude kept looking at him. He was like, yo, back where I'm from, you catch a brick. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Me and the homie are looking at you like, well, he was like, yeah, man, you he called him a towel head, right? Which, mm-hmm. honestly, is pretty funny, oh, okay? Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. lie and say, like, right, it's, it's not. Funny. But it's very offensive for sure. But to call somebody a random towel head, I go mm-hmm. like, "That's." But at, in the moment, I didn't laugh, right? Because I was like, "Hey, bro, uh, you, you need to, you know." So I, I went and told our manager, "I was like, yo, he's got to be banned because he said this thing, and I'm not going to go any further. Otherwise, I'm gonna break his jaw." Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Sure, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And so my thought was like, I don't know how he is in his regular day. I don't know if it's only to people, to uh, to to Middle Eastern people or mm-hmm. Indian people. He could be very. He was nice to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He was like, "Hey man, we were talking before." Yeah. He's like, "Oh man, blah, blah, blah. oh you're from Detroit, da, 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 all that good stuff." You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Great conversation. Then he gets out. He said, "This and I was like, "Hey man, you can't be racist to him." Yeah. And we cool. Right. You know what I mean? If you're racist, you're racist to all, in my opinion. Right, right. So I wasn't gonna be like. So he was eavesdropping on racism. No, I was there. I was outside. Yeah, he was the, eavesdropping. He wasn't talking to you. He was talking to somebody else. Well, I was talking to the Indian dude. I mm-hmm. was talking to him. Oh, okay, gotcha. And the guy was like, yo, he cut your brick around from blood, yeah, yeah. blood. And I was like, huh? he was a fucking time. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was talking to that dude, the white dude earlier. Gotcha. He was mad cool. Right. I was like, what the? Um, what if you were mm-hmm. eavesdropping mm-hmm. on a couple of white people? Mm-hmm. And they were being racist. Mm-hmm. Would you intervene? Are they physically hurting somebody? No, it's kind of like, man, it's like, I just, I just feel like we got to separate, go back to segregation. Like, mm-hmm. the coloreds are always trying to get blah, blah, blah. Would you be like, yo, my man. <laughs> or am I just in the bushes and I come yeah. out? <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me, may I partake in this conversation? Would you do that? Um... How am I eat? What am I doing? You just kind of am I just walking by you, them? You at your PO box, and he's <laughs> he's like a ten feet away. No, and then I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, and he was like, we're talking about laundry, like uh, yeah, you separate your colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, actually, for now on, you watch them shits together. <laughs> All right, you blend that shit. <laughs> that's put the what bleach we're doing. in the put the bleach in the dark with the colors. That's what we're doing. That's life now. All right. I don't care if your shit come out, your whites come out pink. You think you 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 can you can retract like anger from missing from a miscommunication? Hey motherfucker, what's wrong with you? We talking about a movie scene. We're actors. We doing a scene from. I hate I I hate the the blacks. That's a good movie. <laughs> uh, or would you keep that same energy up high? Or would you be like, damn? I'm in too deep now. Nah. Hey, take that shit in, y'all. y'all. <laughs> uh, you got to retract. You got to be like. You start giving them notes. Uh, well, what I would suggest is uh, you make sure you make eye contact with them. <laughs> and uh, you know, you might even want to get physically close to them. Be a little yeah. more insulting. You do one lines with them. You guys even help you run lines later? <laughs> You just, you just gotta hop in and be helpful. The funny thing is, it feels a white guy talking to a black guy, and the black guy was behind a wall, and you all you saw was a white guy. Why is he behind the wall? I mean, because all you see is mm-hmm. like a pillar, and okay. you see him behind, and he's like, hey, nigga, I'm sick of your shit. And you're like, me? The fuck? Let's do this then. What are you shit with him? He's like, and you see a black guy appear, like, who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Say, hey, my man, you can't let him talk to you like that, man. You gotta do better with yourself, man. Yeah. We're doing a scene from a movie. Mm. What, what movie? <laughs> see if I've seen it. Forrest Gump. I had to be like, hey, what are y'all doing? Uh, Mississippi Burn? Like, what is this? What are you talking about? <laughs> what, what movie? <laughs> 
Uh, you know what? Racist things don't happen to me anymore. Like, I actually got, like, you know, little stuff here and there. You've always been the problem, bro. <laughs> I just want you to know that. You've always <laughs> been a hothead. <laughs> always. When have you seen me be a hothead? It's not because you've grown, you've grown you've up. Ne- you've never seen me I've be a hothead. I've never seen you a hothead. But every story I've given you, you be like, I had to beat his ass. <laughs> I, had, I had to put my foot in his ass. I bit the shit out of him. I flipped him over. I pushed him off the stairs. It's always like, damn, Chaz. Come on, it's, uh, it's no lie there. You told uh, me to throw that biscuit away out the window away. Yeah, I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not wrong. Just... <laughs> I was like, I, I'm not trying to ruin a good thing here. Just, <laughs> hey, throw that biscuit away, okay? Before I beat you. In this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that. You know what's funny? It takes a lot. For me, it's less now, but to keep that thing in check when mm-hmm. I want to, I want to be like, bro, we can end this. There's no need to talk. Are mm-hmm. we going to fight or are we not? Yeah. I always want to go there. Mm-hmm. Are we fighting or are we still going to talk about it? I don't need to talk about this. Mm-hmm. I don't know you. You know, so if I don't know you. Has 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 Yo seen your that yeah. side? Yeah. And you're like, oh, I don't recognize him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Direct quote. <laughs> Direct quote. Uh, I, I think there's three instances when she saw that. <laughs> Jesus, time. It's, three? Five, it's five years though. Yeah, yeah. Bro, like you're people, aver- great average, bro. People be like, you got an anger problem. Like, no, you saw this once here. If I had an anger problem, I'd be angry all the time. I'm like, no, it's not an anger problem. I just hate. Dumb. One time, somebody stole the tire off the back of my Hummer. Remember, remember that? that? Yep. Okay, I was very hot, and I yelled at the entire neighborhood at six in the morning. Okay, you said, hey, which one of you mother <laughs> that you did that? We gonna wake your asses up. <laughs> I was like, this is, what did I say? I said something like, mm-hmm. block full of bitches or some shit like that. Something yeah, like yeah. that. Hopefully. Meanwhile, this dude was on Pico doing like this. <laughs> <laughs> because I came out and there's some drunk dude on the curb like, somebody stole your tie. Like, what? why would you tell? Yeah. He Dog. saw it. Dog. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. and then uh, other time I was doing improv. Okay. Nice, happy, white environment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, it's very, improv is very corny and happy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm at yeah. the UCB and um, Upright Citizens Brigade, for those who don't know. And some dude in the back was mumbling something, something. And then he had got up. Yo's in the crowd. Yo's mm-hmm. pregnant at the time. So he gets up. He starts walking towards. He, he comes up to the to the front. He's like, yo, fuck a happy birthday. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't know what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah. But I was like, yo, what's up? I started walking to the stage. I said, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Right? I was there because he was way too close to yo. And, and she's pregnant. And she's pregnant. And the people I'm with, they're not fighters. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're not going to be like, oh, what do we do? Mm-hmm. I said, don't worry about it, everybody. Because <laughs> Joe was like, you don't know what he could have had. And I never seen you like that. I'm like, that was nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, was like, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I went automatic defense mode. Wow. I wasn't like the first one. She saw some anger. Then I laughed immediately afterwards. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, I wasn't even all that mad. I was like, I yeah, just yeah. had to bang on the block real quick. Yeah, that was the premium package. Uh, and the third one, she saw me really hot uh, about money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she, yeah. we, it was a, we had a money convo. And I was not. I was Scrooge McDuck mm-hmm. at that moment, like, or, or even like a Scrooge Donald Duck when you can't understand what he's saying. He's like, <laughs> when he does that, that was me. <laughs> That's funny. So, but it's never anything threatening. I think, mm-hmm. like, uh, she's never seen me do anything physical. She's never seen me do anything towards. Like, I, I would, I can't wait. This is. What I, I hope for this. I pray this happens one day. Is that her and her mom are out speaking Spanish? And you get one of those ignorant people like, yo, speak American. Uh-huh. I want that so bad. I want to be right no. there. I want that. Why? So I can tell the dude do, off. Do you hear what you're saying? Yeah. You, you're, you're hoping you're, for a racist encounter. So you can so strike I somebody. Can, not physically. No, I just want to tell them off. I want to how, use. How about mm-hmm. I hope. That it happens relatively so, soon in my youth. How? <laughs> I hope. Uh-huh. That someone's spewing out racism. Yeah. And I can educate them that what they're no, doing is no, racist. No, no, no. I got all kind of <laughs> insults ready. Educate them. Nah. The only education I want them to know is to not do this again. Yes. that's what say. But not because they learned something that day. I don't want to be like, like, hey, yo, my man, is this, is this your mom? Hey, yo, yo, tell her it's going to be a pr- Like, you can do something like that versus like, come on, put them up. He's like, I don't even know what you're saying. I don't want to put them up. I just, I can't say a bunch of stuff here. That I want to say because you know we won't get uh, <laughs> monetized, but I don't have anything like education to say behind it. I just want to make this person feel in fear and like a little hoe in front See? of. A, I want to do it at a, at a Macy's Look in front of. What you said, no, Chaz, no. We don't know what part she's saying no to. 
Hey, thank you, Anderson said. My daughter's doing her thing. But everyone agrees that Chaz has an anger problem. We're going to work through this, okay? <laughs> we're going we to we we work through this, and we're going we to get to the bottom of his rage. My anger problem is very uncontrolled. I control it. I it's very uncontrolled? In control. Okay. It's very, it's very controlled. Like, when I need him, I'm like, hey, get out there. And he's like, ah. <laughs> when, has, when has anger ever been a good thing? Anger. It depends on what's happening. I like you. you, you what was your fuel for sports? Like sure, but I, I think that, I, I won't say it's anger. If you always losing, yes. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. I want to go to a D one. No, I keep some pent up aggression from whenever I need it. Mm -hmm. I just go like, oh great, let me store this disrespect. So yeah. when I need it for something, I can That's use cancer. It. Well, hopefully it won't, but I have to you get it out. Say hopefully, but this man. is why you go and you do stuff. Punches. This is why you go yeah. work out. This is why you, you got to get all that stuff out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So That's how you get it out. Yeah, I. You, I uh, you don't need to get on people. Hmm. You don't need to get because you're literally you're literally the act of what a terrorist of persons are doing right now. The people <laughs> in the street, they're like, I hate what's happening right now. Like the dude that had, had shut up the hospital. He shut, said. Oh, he uh -huh. said the dude said. Uh, the doctor did his surgery wrong. He's mm -hmm. like, you know what, dude? I, I refuse to t walk another day like this, so I got to kill the doctor. And whoever gets in his way, I got to kill them. Well, that's him. insanity. That is insanity. That's, that's an unstable person. Or the, the infant state of insanity. No, I'm listen to me. Talk, I'm telling you, like, I have uh, a rageful side that I keep very hidden. And I, he's in a little box when I need him to come out. I need rage. I need. Up. Where's my rage at? Rage then I summon them. Let me look up. Let me look up. A. Let me look up rage and see if there's anything positive about that. Chaz, you are more intelligent than that. Mm -hmm. Let sure, know. sure, I am, Jamoy. When I want to be, sometimes I don't want to be more intelligent than that. Sometimes I want to be an ignorant bastard. Look at that. And rage good. is violent, uncontrollable anger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and when I need that violent, uncontrollable anger, uncontrollable. I push that button, then I wake Vengeance. up covered in blood at the mall. What? What happened? What? Who? Who am I? Uh, uh, whose blood is this? <laughs> you ever see Gothica? Was it Gothica? Uh, yes With Halle Berry? No. I, I know what you're talking about. I just never. I, I when know she Drop woke up, she's covered in blood. I'm like, what happened? like, you killed yeah, your yeah. husband. She was like, what? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't me. It's was like, oh. oh I saw it was with, you. Uh, Moon Knight, too. You've seen Moon Knight as well? Uh, I saw the first three, episode. two or yeah. three episodes. I'm That's two or three now. That's the same thing. He'd wake up just like. Hey, he would just pass you like, ah, and then yeah. wake up. And, ah, ah. Yeah, I like Moon Knight. People hate on it. it. I love it. Moon Knight been solid. Mm -hmm. People hate it on the first episode. It was solid. Yeah, it's a great episode. It gets real. I heard. Dark. I heard. It's like shit. This is Marvel. Yeah, y'all addressing shit. Whoa! But even Obi Wan got a little dark. I said, hey, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what adult. We're adults. No, I, I'm talking about like it's more of a. Uh, it, it became more of a drama thriller. Oh, I'm at the it. end, as in like this is not even fun no more. This is this is tapping into real life issues right here. I love it. <coughs> My time, man. People be babying these kids, man. You see what? Disney be like, let's make it cute. Yeah. No, yeah. man, this is real out here. Yeah, but it's real death and murder in these yeah. streets. Yeah. Wait till Deadpool comes to Disney. Mm-hmm. They'll be really. I like how they transition that. And it was like, well, well, if we're gonna get some violence in this uh, Disney Plus, let's slowly work the uh, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and mm -hmm. you know, it's Luke. I Cage can't. And, I hope they bring Daredevil and Punisher back. I don't care about Jessica, Jessica Jones. Jones. First season I liked a lot. Only when the, the villain came in, mm -hmm. um, I forgot his name, Killmonger, Killjoy. Yeah. Um, but if you you got to keep Punisher the same way, you can't lighten it up. Punisher was great. It was mass murder. It was wonderful. I didn't. I didn't. I, it was too slow for me. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Punisher. The, yeah. The, the first. The first, the first season I watched it. Oh, no. I was like, because it opened up that that crazy killing. Then he was like working at like the construction, and mm -hmm. I was just like, come on, this, he's supposed to be a Punisher. Come back to kill. Punish, punish everybody in every episode. <laughs> it took time to to get yeah. back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I, uh Welcome back to another episode of Lacroni and Chaz. Oh. No, forgot about that. Um, if you're watching this live, you are on Dion Lack's Lactose Entertainment YouTube page. If you're watching this not live, then you are on mine, Chaz Rogers' uh, YouTube page. If you'd like to watch it live, then you need to subscribe B, to Dion Lack's YouTube page or lactose, lactose uh, YouTube page. And then you can watch this live. Because I'm about to ask, uh, talk to the audience real, real quick. The, All right. The people in the live. Talk I'm, just, to I'm, just, I'm just seeing what they're saying about my anger issue. Mm -hmm. But now you have what others to worry about now. Violence when you need it, but don't wish for it. I'm not wishing 
for violence. I'm wishing for an altercation when I can like be ignorant to somebody else who's being ignorant. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I want to say horrible, vile things to a person. I don't want to assault them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to say horrible, vile things because I want them to feel as disrespected as the person they are disrespecting feels. What? And I don't want to say that in an educational way. I want them to feel belittled. And I'm really great at stringing curse words and insults together. I, I'm a master. I just never get to do it enough. Then there's going to be a version on the other side of like, I want somebody to come <laughs> at me. <laughs> they going to come at me with so much rage and violence because I'm going to wing out this sawed off <laughs> just press that cold metal against his chest. I don't want to hear another word out of that. Mind you, the violence I didn't add in there. You guys keep adding in the violence, right? I don't, I don't. But you I said you want to say that. Yeah, I want to say you, some. You want to, you want to cuss them out. But oh, yeah. the other person was like, I wish the next person who says something to me mm-hmm. after I'm they're saying something to, to somebody yeah. else. <laughs> no, they they just like everything is going wrong. I lost my dog. My wife left me. I the hate Mexican person. <laughs> the next person, yeah, he said, and you Mexican man, make my damn burrito. It's oh, like yeah. I'm I'm Pakistanian. Damn it! And he's like, hey man, watch you talk. Why would he just shoot? Because the, he said, the next person I'm talking to that come to me, t- come to me trying to check me. Well, I do look out for cats in trench coats in the summer. It depends. What, <laughs> I got to see where we're at. And now, bro, it's to the point where I take, I take my gun everywhere, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not one of these cats who I'm not taking. How, you're not quick with your gun, though. What? You're Have you seen my? <laughs> <laughs> that, that bit we did, too. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, no one's, but you, you're never thinking, I always have to be gun ready. You're never thinking that. I, I do think that now. You can't, carry, you can't carry it inside groceries, can you? You're not. Legally, If you you can if you have a uh, CCW. Right. Uh, I do not, and I don't give a fuck. Right. So you still because carry- it's only a misdemeanor if I have a licensed weapon on me. So you're still carrying it in grocery stores? Yeah, I carry it everywhere. Okay. If you see me, it's, it's probably on me. Let me <laughs> tell you that right now. So, But the thing is, you don't know, how, you don't know what's about to happen. I don't know. Like somebody can walk in right now with, with full of... Hostage. Mm-hmm. Give me all your. Well, right now is a bad time because it's not on me. <laughs> so right now it's in my back. <laughs> Why am I your shield? <laughs> because you're. They're there. We both can't just die behind the couch. <laughs> and, I, and I'm picking your body I up like so, this. I hate that Dion just <laughs> used me for eight bullets. <laughs> and I'm picking, <laughs> think, think, think. and I'm picking you up like this and charge out. Like, <laughs> my, it's my dead body. <laughs> just taking them. Yeah, yeah, stop. <laughs> and I take your legs and sweep his legs. <laughs> and I'm just going. <laughs> and then I'm, a, I'm on the news like, Chaz is a hero, man. <laughs> Without him and his heroic acts, Without I wouldn't him. be standing here today. He was trying to lose weight, but God bless his undisciplined. Because <laughs> there was more to cover. <laughs> That noise is so hilarious. Oh my god. Uh, that's funny. We know it'd be terrifying. And so 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 when it comes to gun control, mm-hmm. what if they were just like, instead of gun control, mm-hmm. we should just learn how to take bullets? <laughs> to me. This as how do you like, take a bullet? As in like it was like a I shift my organs. <laughs> Miss. As in, imagine, Miss. imagine trying to, uh, a mass murderer trying to do it like a mass murder, and we all like, ping, ping. like <laughs> you just waste your time. You like, you motherfucker. Like, <laughs> I I hate when mass murders kill themselves last. Yeah, that's how they. I'm I mean, like, yo, do it first. Yes. <laughs> they walk in like, hey, everybody, what's about to happen? Like, why I go, come here? Hey, shoot yourself first. And then if you survive that, have at it, my guy. Have at it. Yeah. But you can, then you're going to shoot yourself after all that? But he's legendary now. That's what I hate about it. That's what they that's, try that's to the do. only reason they're doing that. Because I don't know the dude's name who shot Sandy Hook. I don't know the dude's name who did this other school. I don't, it's, on, it's online. I know, but I'm not looking. I'm not. There's no way no. I'm remembering these cats. No, I don't know no, their no. names, and I never will. Um, I hope they get... 
uh, forgotten in their. I'm saying they should. We talk about this on Eddie's. They should erase their social security numbers. They should erase their names. These mm -hmm. cats should never be remembered mm -hmm. um, in history. They should be. Everything should be done to be have them forgotten. This, their name should only be on the dark web. Yeah, and and <laughs> you should have the. You can't use that name anymore. Mics are all gone. <laughs> There's no more mics ever allowed now. This is a popular name. It's gone forever. You got to take it out the Bible. There's no Michael Angel anymore. Is <laughs> yeah, I never thought about Michael Angel, Michelangelo. Is that what that is? Wow, is that what that is? Michelangelo is Michael, like the angel. Angelo, the is angel uh, Michael. Wow, Michelangelo. Angelo is uh, <laughs> what, what is that? J Roman. I, I know. I think it's like Italian or yeah, Roman. Because Angelo might be angel. Right. And there's the angel Michael. Michelangelo. But what's the other one? Gabriel. There's, uh -huh. There's no but Gabriel they, Angelo. Yeah, no. Gabriel. Gabriel Angelo. Gab a Angel Gabriel. <laughs> Abriel, Abriel Gabriel Angel. <coughs> I don't know. There's not. This is more Michaels than Gabriels. Michelangelo. I don't know. Gabe is not a great name. It's not. Sorry for yeah. the Gabe's Gabe. out there. Gabe. Gabe. Gabriel. Gabe. Yeah. Gabe is like a. Uh, it's like having a name like um, like like a. Gaylord. No, <laughs> that's very different. <laughs> but th but there's those names that are just kind of just sound like mud. Yeah, Sebastian. <laughs> that's a nasty name. <laughs> Bartholomew. That's that's one of the disciples. You know that, right? Bartholomew. Bartholomew is a disgusting name. Sebastian is hilarious. You can't even shorten up Sebastian. How do you? How, what is the nickname for Sebastian? Seb? Sea bass. Yeah, sea bass. Bass. Sebby. Shin. Hey, Shin Shin. Yeah, that's not a good one. Sebby. That's a pretty bad name. Sebastian. I knew this girl, she wanted to name a kid Sebastian. Well, can't have kids with you. Sebastian yeah. the, the crab from Little Mermaid. Oh, right? yeah. That's that's appropriate <laughs> for a crab. His name should yeah. be Sebastian Mon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wonder if his voice is really done by a real Jamaican or a white dude. Uh, you know, the crow back in the day at Dumbo, there were, they were they're like three black guys, but the main crow was a white dude doing the voice. Really? Yeah, the one who was very offensive, mm -hmm. white dude. He was doing this very black. You know what? He was killing it. Yeah. He was doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> and the other crows were black. But the lead crow, mm -hmm. a white. <laughs> I, 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 you talking on The Wiz, right? No, on Dumbo. Remember the crows oh, in Dumbo? Oh, I never saw the movie. Mm -hmm. I sure had seen one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a white dude doing all the extra singing a song and everything. Mm -hmm. Extra black. I had a white guy uh, trying to break down. I think it's not cool that black people get to make fun of white people so often. But we can't make fun of black people. I told him I said two things. <laughs> I beat your ass. No, 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 <laughs> no. <clears throat> I said two things. Um, black people has always been inferior to the white race. Always been the butt of the joke for our beginning right, of time. Right. So yes, the and I'm doing this with quotation fingers. The the child can make fun of the parent, mm -hmm. if you will. Uh, but it looks weird when the parent is downgrading the child. It's like, because y'all had a head start of life. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, we can make fun of you guys. But it, it's, it's, I mean, of course, you're going to do it if it's, if it's clever. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, um, I lost my second thought. Well, my thing is just find, it, find something new. I'm like, I don't care if you, quote, unquote, make fun of black people or black culture. Because um, you're supposed to. So, and I'm thinking of comedian, not just some regular dude. But if you're, if you're an expert at comedy, uh, I'm like, you got to find a, a new way, original way to make it clever, make it funny. Mm -hmm. I remember watching Robin Williams, and he would do every accent so well mm -hmm. until back he to got back. to black people. Yeah. And he's like, mm -mm, mm -mm, and it was always that. And I'm like, dog, you're so good. You're yeah. not even trying yeah. with black people. And I was like, you would, I'm like, and I'm down, bro, if you, because do you remember that, uh, what's the redheaded white dude comedian name? Darren something, and he black. Yeah, Deron. But yeah, but I go by Deron. You know what I mean? And I'm like, dog, I'm down when it's, when it's funny, like when it's something like, yo, hey, you get the culture, you mm -hmm. respect the culture. Right. You're not just, you know, making fun of black people, make fun of black people. Right, right. Um, I'm just gonna like, yo, just just like do it, but rep it. Like, yeah. you know, and, and then show, show <laughs> love as long as you show love behind it. Cause I don't, I don't like if, if I was coming out and I'm just like, nah, crackers, 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 crackers. Right. I'm like, nah, you gotta have something that's um, a solid joke, some truth. And it's mm -hmm. fine if there's some heart behind it. Right. As long as it's truthful heart yeah, yeah. and it's funny. Yeah. And you go on. White people's impressionations are always always, that, always have yo and impersonations impersonations <laughs> impersonations. <laughs> Don't stop making fun of me, dude. You said impression. <laughs> <laughs> 
may just be a sound bite. Wait a minute. You said impersonations. Impersonations. You said impressions. Impressionations. <laughs> but you didn't even stop to be like. Because I was like, let's, let's let it happen, man. It's, it's, I, it's like I accidentally touched your girl's boob. It's like, it's like, it's like. Oh my bad. <laughs> you already got to say if you say my bad, now you bring attention to it. It's the thing that because you still want to be like, hey, nigga, I saw you touch my girl's boob. <laughs> I, I didn't enjoy it. Was, but, uh, you know what it is. If I was like, uh, if, we was in, uh, if I'd like this, I'm so sorry. I'm so it depends sorry. how much it jiggled. You, impersonations. <laughs> impersonations. I was, I was like, that's too big to let go. That's a big one. <laughs> and then I kept talking. You said, yeah, no. No. Nope. That's a big. Impersonations. That's because also I go like, I wonder if Dion thinks that's how the word is <laughs> pronounced. Yo. Let me tell you something, man. My brain be thinking so fast which in my is, mouth. Which is fine, but when you get there, yep. you got to be like, no, I know this is I'm, not the right word. I'm always thinking about sound bites. As I, in like, I let stuff go, too. You I know, know you do. I know you do. I hate y'all. <laughs> it, uh, was just, it was just too big. That's what she said. Hey, hey well, hello. hello. I don't know. I don't, I don't. Uh, all right, let me read this from, uh, from uh, Jam. Uh, actually, Stu asks, "What's the first? What's the worst first thing?" <laughs> Probably Stu. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stu. I'm just yeah, your joking. name is a delicious I'm dish. Just, I'm just joking, Stuart. Uh, I don't have a problem with a comedian telling a joke about black people when it's clever and not something done out of anger. Yeah. 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 No. Uh, she fixed her typo because. Because uh, you've been making fun of, of me. <laughs> I've not been making fun of people. Uh, I'm just joking to all the students out there. Um, I think Family Guy had this thing when they were like, what's the worst name in the English language? And they were like, Keith. And it's my dad and my brother's name. And yeah, I always yeah. call my brother and be like, Keith. Oh, 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 oh. Every time I say it. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the worst first name? Worst first name that bothers me every time I hear it. Um, Gilbert. <clears throat> Well, I don't want to do the typical old names. Gilbert's pretty bad. Gilbert, yeah. Gilbert. What's up, Gil? Gilbert. Gilbert's pretty bad. Um, Sorry about the Gilberts. I played a Gilbert. Uh, awful. You know what? I, I know some pretty ones, too. You ready for this one? Pretty names? No, I know I know a, two, pr three pretty women. Okay. But I hate this name. Okay. Fatima. I'm not mad at Fatima, but I'm mad at Fatima. But Fatima or Fatima is like a Middle Eastern name. So I'm not mad at it if it's in that culture. But I'm mad at it if it's just <laughs> Fatima. Yeah. Fatima. I'm not I'm not mad at it when it's said with the right accent. <laughs> Cause I heard of Fatima and I've been like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but but we're supposed to call it fat. What's up, yeah, fatty? Yeah. I know th I think all call him fat. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's not even cool. Toby's wife, his name is Fat Toby. Toby Toby Nowigwe. Oh, her, her name, name is. Yeah, mm -hmm. he said Toby calls me fat. Is 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 she like uh, Middle Eastern or Ethiopian or nope. something like that, or nope. some kind of Africans? Mm -mm. Uh, I know an Egbert. You know an Egbert? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know a person named Egg. There's some bad names out there, mm -hmm. uh, and there's some names that should stop. There should be no more Tyrones. We, we should mm -hmm. be good. Yeah. And, uh, and we're good on Johns, Michaels, Luke's, Marks. Are we? Yeah. We still need these no, names? No, unless they're just passed down to your, your your children. Like we're still naming people. Like I understand. Like when Michael Jordan came, there was a lot more Jordans than Michaels. And, and after Jalen, that was a popular middle name. Definitely for for years. But I'm like, we're good on Michaels, bro. <laughs> yeah. We're uh, we're good on Andrews. There's enough. Chris. Oh, we have overly more. overly used names are the typical. How many Chris's do we need? John. And Come on. Come on. Tony. We don't need more Tonys. <laughs> Come on, just be Anthony at that point. Yeah, yeah. Be Antonio. Where that's enough. It's enough. Uh, Fatima is a Middle Eastern Islamic name. Uh, is also my sister's name. There it is. Yep. Now you and you it. you hurt Zuper. You hurt his. Uh, you shamed his family. You jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like the name of it. But man. Zuper Lebanon. You, you you shamed all the Fatimas and <laughs> Lebanese. You know what? Oh, I tell you, Dion's racist. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I don't know if that was going to help or hurt. <laughs> How did that help anything? <laughs> How was like, that going to help? Was, that was like, <laughs> what was that 
even? What were you even going for? You know how when people say, "Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Delta," they do like, "Hey, hey, hey!" As in, like, I was like, "No, no, I'm not racist. Like, ooh, I'm part of the tribe." What? I was trying to do like, like a, uh, a uh, what? Yeah. Anywho. Uh, you know what's funny? I can't even tell you what form of racism that even comes from, but it, we just know. It was a, we were all just offended from the <laughs> attempt. <laughs> no, I was an ally. That was an ally cry. That was not an ally cry. Yeah, it was an ally cry. Oh, Lord. Uh, oh. You know what name I, I do get bothered by mm-hmm. is just like, just because you became Muslim, mm-hmm. I don't need to hear uh, Muhammad. There's a lot of Muhammads out there. Or Abdul Jabbar at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, damn it, yo. Do a bandwagon ass name. Um, there's definitely well, enough. Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. There's enough, Martin. There's enough. There's enough. Mm-hmm. There's a. There's definitely Muhammad. I think is the most popular name in the world. Muhammad. Yeah, it is. Hundred percent. Like we don't need any more Muhammads. Is it a? Uh, is it a Muhammada? Try to make it to a woman's name. <laughs> Muhammad. Uh, Ma- Muhammad. Um. There's enough, guys. That's enough. What names are I like to hear more of? Yes. Um, I Chazes. Like I like oh. city names. Well, city names. I like Chazes, bro. Mm-hmm. There's more Chasmans out there. Chasman. Yeah, somebody's got to be not, some more Theodores. My middle name, <laughs> some more Rogers. Come on, all your names is first names. Rogers? I don't think Rogers. I think no. Rogers is a last yeah, name. You're right. But I mean, I've seen it as a <coughs> as a first name. Mm-hmm. Like Roger Klotz. Go home, Roger. Some Rogers out yeah, there, yeah. first names. Yeah, yeah. All right. I almost um, like my name. Dion. My my first name. Roger. Oh, Roderick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roger, Dion's Rogers. a fraud. His mm-hmm. not even his name at all. Did you short your name too? No, I don't use my middle name as my first name. What's your first name? Chasman. Right, but you you go by Chas. You shorten it. But you don't use your first name. I mean, when I have to. You know what I'm saying only for the government. It's a concealed. It's a concealed name. <laughs> that is not a. Thing. I use it when I have to. When I'm don't push. Don't push me, man. <laughs> don't make Roger come out. <laughs> uh, well, it's supposed to be pronounced that way, but when they are black. Ah, yes, yes. I know if a Tima, we call her Tima, though not fat. Ah, you know, I like the name Theodore. Well, thank you, Zuber. Uh It's my cousin's name, and it's Fatima Akila Abdul. Yep, there she's really black. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, it, it, when you have a black, black name, you can't be light skinned. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you are of the mixed race of, or any biracial in you, you gonna you gonna be such a shock to what people. What about the guy who converts to Muslim and he marries a white woman and he's a part of the uh, he's part of the ROI he's part of the uh, what what's the uh, not return on investments uh, um, Islam the um, of Islam what's the first letter come on Dion of Islam yeah come of on. Islam no the come on bro you know that. Like uh, Farrakhan. Oh, Nation of Islam. Jesus. N O I. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Why? Why did it take? Well, you didn't say. Uh, you said of Islam. Yeah, Nation of Islam. I'm sorry. Right. Nation of Islam. Because um, R O I is return of, of investment usually. What does this say? Um, is that F O I? I don't know. F O I. Is that fuck out of here? That would be an H. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, what if somebody Nation of Islam, right? Super dark skin marries a white woman, and now they have a. She's an Abdul Jabbar. She's a. Her name is Betty Abdul. Wow. Karima Abdul. Wow. Well, that, that, I got two things that sparked that conversation. Actually, I think Betty was Michael X's wife's name. It's not that yeah. one. Betty Shabazz. Uh, Betty Shabazz. Mm-hmm. Two things that sparked that conversation. Dicky. I should have Becky. If it was a, people always say, you can love who you love, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But if it was a black king in Africa. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. Mm-hmm. Black king in Africa, mm-hmm. and he fell in love with a white woman. Mm-hmm. That country would not accept that. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Depends. Like she will, I would not praise this white it woman. It depends. Because what if it ended war? What if that marriage blended a power couples together? What if you said, hey, man, here we got the queen of England mm-hmm. with the king of all of Africa, I guess, mm-hmm. right? And now no. our countries are, you know, merged together. Right. Then I'd be like, hey, man, it's more, we're going to get more, I don't know what the fuck England imports, uh, fish and chips. With the dashiki and everything, you want this woman to have the Queen Latifah hat? Do I want to? No. But what if it stopped <laughs> uh, um, invasions? And what if it stopped? Uh, just, I feel like she's a, she'd be a fraud, man. 
Like, is sure. she from Alabama? Sure, she'd be a fraud. I'm like, this, look at this, man. This is our queen. Hey, y'all. What happened? <laughs> what happened to our country? Hey, who? what if it ended all uh, uh, oppression in that country? That is that is a perfect scenario. But what if it was just a regular white woman? He'd been at the uh, the 44 <laughs> Club. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, yes. I want to change your life. But what if he was like, brothers, countrymen, you have to understand how wonderful white women taste. Oh, these pink toes ain't for the for the for the state. Her home. skin is, it lights up at night. As the moon reflects, I always find her. Uh, I am so blessed in our. <laughs> it's what if he's allergic to melanin? <laughs> when he around, when he's around the black people, he's like, I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> and then he's, like, I can only date the white. <laughs> oh, the milk bowl and the milk and honey. The milk bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so and and then after that, mm-hmm. piggybacking off of that, I know this is not really a piggyback, but two things sparked that conversation. Mm-hmm. In this day and age, people say, I... This day and age? I don't know what that's from. Yes, this you day do. and age? Yes, you do. No. All right. <clears throat> people say, I identify... It's a rare condition. Yes. This day and age. You can't say the punchline. You can't say the punchline like, punch of the song. The condition of the grand design. You knew what it was from. No, you can't say the punchline of something. there must be some happy... Clues? Something clues? Inside these gentle... What do you mean? You can't say the punchline of a stanza. What do you t- it's not the punchline of a stanza. It's the second verse. It's, it's not even It's not even that far in. No, it's, not, it's, it's, it's the punchline of the most important part. No, it's not. It's a rare condition in this day and age. It's a rare condition is more noticeable than in this day and age. That's only a setup to the newspaper page. That's all that's we're getting to. It's a rare condition, this day and age, to read any good news, and the newspaper page is the punchline. Then you're like, damn, good point. That's the that's the punchline, Dion. If I said this day and age, to read any good news, where? Well, here's the setup. It's a rare condition, this day and age, to read any good news. Oh my God, where? In the newspaper page. Yo, you right, though. And you're a punchline guy. You should know this. I am ashamed of you. If I say, you know, get in my bar cone. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? If you said it like that, no. But give it to me you how know, it's supposed to. You know, get in my bar cone. Now, if you said it like that, like, I hit the note. Go for it. I, I hit the. What's after that? What, what was the line? Exactly. <laughs> this day you knows. know, get in my bar cone. Well, I don't know the song. I might not know you the song. You know the song. What's the song? Coming through like I do, you know, getting my bar on. Knew she was a thug because when I met her, she had a scarf on. All I know is that it's DMX. Right. Because of but the voice. I, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know. Th- you got to say the beginning part of the song to it's, get people to come The point on. is not the punchline, is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Getting the bar on sounds like the punchline. It's, it's, of that stanza. Right. <laughs> that stanza is not the punchline either. It's like It's like half of the bar. Okay. It's a rare condition. This One, day and age. In this day and age, punchline is on a newspaper, newspaper page. page. Uh-huh. Well, you said punchline is a punchline. We just agreed with the punchline. But I said of that stanza. I'm just saying. That wasn't. I just hit the note where you, I said you knew where it's from. I don't even know what song you're singing. I don't know what song that is. I don't know the song. What's the song, Dion? What's how's the, it going how's down? the hook? What type of games playing, man? How's it going down? It's on till it's on tonight. Got to know now. Is you with me your what? Is you about to give me your nut? Or did you about to hit me your butt? But was it? A, it sounds like it was a DMX song. They didn't make it you in the charts. It? I don't know. That was his first single. Yeah, that was his first single. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Coming through like I do, you know, getting my ball going. I just remember stop. That's the first DMX song I knew. That was the second one. Drop, yeah. shut him down, open up shop. to this day. Oh, uh-huh. he was gonna cancel. Uh-huh. Now, if I came in and was like, that's a rough ride, it's wrong, you would know exactly where we're at. Yes, right. because that's a part of a chorus. Right. But I, if I did it in the voice, you would know. But if I just said stop, you'd be like, what? But if I said stop, you know exactly what that is. I am about to choke you. Okay. The back of your neck. Okay. <laughs> just so you, just not to kill you, but just be annoying. What if somebody was, <laughs> he was choked he out like, from the back of his neck? Like, what? Yeah, I was just pushing his spine in. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you're making a point before this. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. people say I identify mm-hmm. 
as a woman, I identify as a man, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if a like woman, I do, right? <laughs> like get in my bar. Okay, right, okay. If a woman identify as a man, mm -hmm. woman identifies as a man. Uh -huh. If a woman identify as a man, mm -hmm. and men are allowed to walk outside shirtless, mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. a woman who identifies as a man walk outside walk outside shirtless? Without being scrutinized or arrested, or is it illegal? Um, does she still have titties? A hundred percent. Still has full blown titties. Sure. I don't know about full blown. What that mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Fully There's developed. You mean full blown titties? Yes. Yep. Um, what was the question? Does that can person... a woman who identifies as a man? Walk out, walk outside shirtless. Well, the answer is no, because women get scrutinized no matter what they do. They're like plain. She's stuff. not a woman. Even if she identifies as one, regardless if her sex is uh, female, she's going to get scrutinized anyway. There's a, no win-win situation for women anywhere, no matter what they identify. So, as. so she, so she can use the example. Hey, he got a shirt off. Why can't I wear my? Shirt? You can do whatever you want to do. Right. Right. You can do whatever you want to do. There's going to be repercussions, but. Um, our laws have not come that far. Let me show you what somebody did on Instagram who's been so clever. Mm -hmm. So men can be shirtless on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. The whole the, 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 the thing that flags women flag women when they come to nudity is the areolas. Okay. Areolas. Okay. So what women were doing to be uh, acceptable on Instagram, they will cut out the nipples of a man, mm -hmm. put their nipples on them to make them be nude on Instagram. That makes sense. I guess I had to go see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 do you have a page I can look? No, but the the, the owner. I'm not gonna search it for you. Oh, yeah. The owner, the owner of Instagram was like, women are, have have figured out how to become nude on Instagram. So they had the argument of if men can be shirtless on Instagram, what's the difference between us being shirtless on Instagram? Mm -hmm. They said, well, it's your areola. So what m women were doing was cutting out the areolas of a man. And putting on them because that's essentially what bathing suits are. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. bathing suits, you've seen bathing suits, they just they just cross the nipples. Uh -huh. Side boob, top boob, bottom boob was all showing, but only thing that's covered up is the areolas. Okay. So what they were doing was cutting out men areolas. Okay. I, I, you got to go I, on Instagram. I need to see it, but I, I don't know where to look for it on Instagram. Yeah. You got to say Photoshop, Photoshop, Instagram, nipple nails. Oh, no, I don't know why I said nails. Photoshop. Men, hold on. How would I say this? Photoshop nipples. Nipples on women. I don't think Instagram has a hashtag. Yeah. Oh, it does say Photoshop nipplets. So why is that a thing? Okay, this is not what I thought it was. No, definitely not what I want to see. Um, no, not what I want to see. Yeah, spicy original. You know she was a thug so when you met her. She had a scarf on. Uh, sorry, I gotta reach more. Uh, DMX and Faith Evans. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on, go up. Uh, the Nation of Islam was a weird take on Islam. They treated it more like a culty club than a religion, from what I know. Zoop, I would disagree because them niggas would kill me. So I disagree vehemently because, for one, I don't know enough about them. For two, uh, they bought that life. Therefore, I disagree with what you say, sir, um, respectfully, on all, on all counts. Because <laughs> them cats don't play them games. Common citizen gonna say she's still white. Um, <laughs> uh, like a, like a Dr. Umar allegedly hollering at the white yeah, lady at the mall. I didn't see that. I saw that, and I was like, man, y'all don't know what she said. She could be saying, hey, I'm a huge fan of huge fan of you. I seen you on Breakfast Club. Can I follow you? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this way, caught the video of him doing like this, like. Yep. Yeah, that's it. That's it. He was talking to a woman, a white, a white woman from uh -huh. afar. It was like it was like across from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "Look at this nigga shooting his shot." <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, they don't need to accept Meghan Markle in the UK. They don't seem to accept Mark, Meghan Markle in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure some people do, uh, but the racism runs deep out there. Yeah, they press over here in England. Always makes sly racist comments about her. 
Oh, you're in England stew? Oh, okay. hey, all right, crikey. I don't know, that's not right. That's Australian. <laughs> um, and you're supposed to be a rapper. Ooh, Dion. What did I say? No, what did I say? I was talking about punchlines and, you know, all oh. that stuff. Uh, there's a movie called A United Kingdom um, when a woman, when a white woman falls in love with the African prince. Ah, scenario. It's a movie, just like uh, there's a movie called Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Tall Based tales. off of true events. I uh, knew she was a third. Okay, Demons Faith Evans. Yep, they can in the wild. Oh, they can uh, roll around breastless. I mean, uh, topless. <laughs> breathless. <laughs> Uh, depends on the state you're in. Apparently, it's illegal. It's legal in New York for women to walk shirtless. Not a woman. A woman who identifies as a man. <laughs> well, that was the only stipulation. That's, that's, how she, that's how she gets past it. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, <clears throat> I identify as him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the whole the whole sex versus gender thing is is. I f- so you know, after talking to various people, I guess there's a difference between sex and gender. Uh-huh. Gender is a on a spectrum, but sex is not on a spectrum. You're male or female, but gender is a construct which you can uh, mold, I guess, into what you're comfortable being identified as. I'll tell you something. Mm-hmm. These, these are some big words you're saying right now. Construct and spectrum. What, for, for, the, for the people who don't know, uh, why don't you break those words down for them? Because uh, <laughs> not you, but for the people who don't. <laughs> not, know. not for me. It's for the people who don't know. Um, gender is a man-made thing. I, li- I like time. Hmm. You know. What gender I mean? is man-made. Yeah, because there's sex, which is male or female. There's sexes. Okay. Okay. And then there's genders, which it would be male, female, and. Now all the things that go under gender or what you identify as. There's a lot of them now, right? I don't know the entire spectrum of gender, uh-huh. but I now understand that gender's a gender is a spectrum. Okay. Okay. And uh male or female as it is is kind of also on that same thing, but that's like the basis of where everything else stems from. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Gender wise. There's that's the that's the spectrum from what I understand. Right. You know what I mean? The the beginning and ending of the male to female and everything that goes and encompassing in between. Encompassing. Everything that's involved all yes. around, uh, yes, all together. Yes. So yeah, so understanding that helped me um I guess understand more about because I, I understand the idea of, of, of someone not feeling like themselves and you're telling somebody how they're supposed to act or behave because that's what they're supposed to feel like. You know what I mean? They're supposed to be you know, if my, if you know, we see Tom girl, you know, we see Tom boys who are women growing up and uh-huh. then, then they turn for lesbian and then it might be the bush. I'm like, oh, we kind of saw that coming since they were kids. Uh-huh. Right. Or, yeah, yeah. or vice versa with kids who may seem more effeminate uh-huh. and they grow up and they're like, oh, no, yeah, we kind of saw that coming. Right. Uh-huh. So um, it's like it's like those those lines, but they don't want to come out. They don't feel comfortable because they feel like they've been, you know, what society what putting them at is how they might embarrass their family quote unquote all this other stuff and you know society just hasn't came far enough along yet where people still feel comfortable and people still are coming out which in itself is a shame that people still feel the need to have to come out and announce it right you you think people should or you should be like they they have to now because it's a thing that they had to get acceptance for their family Acceptance from coworkers mm-hmm. or whoever it is, people closest to you, have to get acceptance from this, but you shouldn't have to. You know, it's crazy how if I said, I know you're going to say, no, I want to treat you differently. Mm-hmm. But if I was like, I would treat you differently. If, if I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I started off gay, mm-hmm. but then I, you know, I, I, I realized that it wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. And then now I, I'm attracted to women. Are you like, dicks hurt? <laughs> I just, I couldn't do it another one. I had my limit. I think you'd be like, nigga, let's break it down. How did you get into this? You won't be like, cool, I'm never going to bring it up again. You'd be like, how? Um, it depends on what funny thing I think about to say. But I would actually be like, <clears throat> oh, give me some details. I need to know what the beginning of this was and what you feel. It's like, no, I felt like I was gay and I did that lifestyle and then my parents were supportive and then. What if you had to reverse come out and you had to like tell I'm you, gay now? No, I'm not gay anymore. And then your parents were like, you're like, hey guys, um, you're at Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> not gay. Impossible. <laughs> you what? You're not what? No, 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 no. We told our family, we told our church, we fought for you. All right? Because everybody wanted to ban us. They were saying that we fought for you yeah, right, right. to be gay. You're, you're going to be gay. Gonna, please be bi at least. Cause you can still go. You can be both. But I, I just no, no. You know what we had to go through. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I mean? Your father still goes to counseling. You I know do. what? I Bisexuals do. don't don't get enough love. Mm -hmm. It's usually like hot or cold, right? It's always like heterosexual or homosexual. Bisexual is never like their verbal. I I've said this with before. Men. I wish, I wish I was a bisexual male. I do. Keep talking. Because, because there's no. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Literally. Like, like literally. Mm -hmm. Like, you're just like, oh, dude, hey, what's up, guy? How you doing, bro? You want to hang out and fuck? Right? Damn. You, you want to do, do the two? Yeah? <laughs> All right, great. And then you can go be with your women. You know what I mean? You, you get the, it's more like a download thing. It's the ultimate freedom that you have. You know what I'm saying? And that, that I don't get from, like, just being straight. Like, you, you'd be more comfortable just being like, oh, dog, no, yeah, I go both ways. Mm-hmm. Oh, what, 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 you interested? No, no, no. I, oh, think, okay. I think the problem is with women. Mm -hmm. Women don't like you going both ways. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I, 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 I can't Oh, say. you're talking about the down low in general. No, no, as in like you can't tell a woman. Uh, so so tell me about your ex, some of, the, some of your exes. Mm -hmm. uh, there was Bruce, uh, Lakeisha, mm -hmm. Donald. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> are these very masculine names? Or are you bi oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm bisexual. She's like, all right, check, please. And it's like, and it's like, why? What's wrong with that? It's like, I don't. I was, I was, I was always top. I wasn't never the bottom, sweetheart. I was always giving it. My booty hole is still a virgin. Uh, which I'm sure is out there. I, but I, I'm sure women don't like bisexual men. Even if it was like, sweetheart, that was 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. One time, mm -hmm. me and my neighbor, we was 12 years old trying to figure it out. And we realized it was bad. Ooh. I, I talked to a girl before who said that they found out that their guy was gay or he did or he did gay stuff that she wouldn't date him now. And she was like, oh, yeah, I did. I did some of that stuff. And she was like, I couldn't date him if he was if he did do gay stuff. Yeah, I was like, even if he Damn. was just doing stuff, she was like, no, nah, I don't know. It, this is a good question for women. Mm -hmm. You are 10 years in this marriage. Mm. You found out that before you, he dated a man. For a year, it didn't work out. For a year. For a year. Never went back to men. Never went back to men. One time thing. Mm -hmm. Well, it, years was, it was a sandwich. It's a long one time thing. Pun intended. <laughs> uh, sa it was a sandwich of women as the bread, meat, pun intended. <laughs> and then all bread from now on. He's like, I had just one little blip of being gay. Would you guys continue the marriage or would you work through it? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, divorce them. That's a good question, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm going to say that more women stay now because yeah. of the climate. And he's perfect, too. Yeah. He pays the bills. The climate is. that we're in, I think more women stay now. Yeah. But had this been 10 years ago, the yeah, conversation, yeah. no. Yeah, because you'd be like, why'd you divorce him? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. This nigga was on the down in your marriage. No, before we met. But he wasn't on the down He was just out openly gay. Yeah. They have his picture up and gay. He was a legend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his shirt off. He ripped his hair. He got the V hooch daddy shorts on. Yeah. And he's like, damn, what was I doing? I'm I'm tripping. I did this because the man was giving me love. Mm -hmm. But in reality, I really love women. Yeah. And then he went. Strictly women he forever. He went back strictly dickly. I mean, mm -hmm. well, I don't know. How, what's, what's the other one? <laughs> what's the what's the, the phrase for women? That, what do you mean like for the... Like well, women say strictly dickly, mm -hmm. but what is the thing that women, men say? I'm vaginally. <laughs> I'm mostly pussy. No, I'm... <laughs> I am the trustly no. Yeah. I am You supposed to say trustly pussy? Yeah, happily vaginally. No. Gangle no. Yeah, me me, me yeah. don't have no funny dope phrases. No. I am uh beating the beating the bush. <laughs> pushing the bush. I'm I'm just pushing the bush. Hey man, I'm strictly it's just still it doesn't I'm yeah. I'm only pushing the bush. Pushing oh, bush. I, I, I only push the bush. No, it's a uh, <laughs> Just <laughs> not a great a phrase. I'm a fudge packer. Uh, okay. Uh, she said, "How'd she find out?" Um, mm. that's ooh, that's a good one. Maybe How she saw it. Maybe she maybe she heard a story from a friend. Maybe she saw said guy. Yeah. And he's like, hey. at a bar in Alaska. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> he was he was he was hiding out from the state. But he's like, hey, you're not gonna know who I am. My name is Derek. <laughs> I see. I follow 
Jonathan on uh, Facebook. This nigga's a hater. Dude. And I know that you guys. I, I mean, I've seen your picture on there. I mean, I, I this is random, but I know that you're. Oh, you know, you know, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, I know Jonathan. Uh, are you guys close? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we were really close. So close, I was eight inches <laughs> inside of him. And then after the accident. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want him back. And she gives him the whole break. He gives her the whole breakdown mm-hmm. of what happened before. Yeah, he's like, this is like two years before he met you. Yeah, and then uh, I tried to get him back, but he said he was, uh, what was it, it's pushing bush. <laughs> pushing the bush. Uh, and so now you know he's the one who got away. <laughs> <laughs> and I want him back. Please divorce him for yeah, me. Yeah, I, I always think about. Then I saw you guys' pictures. I was just like, damn, that was, you know, <laughs> does he still peg? Do you peg this? <laughs> Any semblance? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got matching tattoos on our inner thighs. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's you're the big D. <laughs> he told I, me he was from Detroit. I thought he was big D. Point to it. <laughs> nah. Oh, you got you added the arrow. No, that was my landing spot. <laughs> As in where I shot at. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said he was definitely for them on the streets. Definitely what? He was, he was definitely for, for them on the oh, streets. Yeah. Um, she shared the legend and you explained to her that, that you the legend. Yeah. That's you the legend. Yeah. I don't get it. Uh, Ruth Williams and what? Sarah, Sarah C. Comma. What are you talking about? Oh, they were talking. Oh, it was talking about the movie. It's based off a true story. Oh. They got married in 1948. He was the future king of Botswana, which I use a lot for a reference for some reason. Ruth Williams and Saritzi Kama. Ruth Williams sounds super white. Ruth? <laughs> Ruth? <laughs> yes, Papa? <laughs> Your country is still very archaic when it comes to the sexualization of men and women. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your country. <laughs> You sound so uh, I, but colonizing, a of, but a lot of countries are. I mean, I don't know. I don't know a lot of countries' inner workings, but I know that um, there's a lot of homophobia and uh, I know like South Central America, South America. I know there's a lot of homophobia, and uh, from what I can tell, the Middle East for some countries because they have like those. Um, and this is just new stuff. I don't know the details, honor killings, and you know things like that. Um, I don't know how Europe is uh, mm-hmm. anywhere over there. I don't know how uh, Asia is, Chinese, Japan. I don't know the middle, uh, like India. I don't know how those countries are. Um, but these are the ones that I hear about have a lot of uh, homophobic um, stuff. And it would be like some of those Middle Eastern countries, Iraq, Iran, and in uh, South America. So mm-hmm. I don't know the Africas. I'm assuming that they are some. There's, there's several Africas. Yeah. Well, I don't know the which ones are maybe more open or free. And uh, I don't know any countries who are like, yo, we like, it's like being gay is super normal because mm-hmm. here you go to, there's areas, right? We got like, what's Hollywood? You're going to San yep. Francisco. San Francisco, Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. You go to these places that you're are welcome. like, <laughs> you're welcome. Just like, Oh no, you're a safe place. This is a safe zone. And then everywhere else is like, Ugh. I heard like, I think uh, Shantae Wayne just told me there's like one area in New York, like Green- Greenwich Village or something like that. It's like one block of like safe zone where like, wow. you know, this is where you're, you're expected to be and you people stay here and stuff like that. But I can't tell you a lot of areas. I, and I really try to educate myself on, uh, and it didn't happen until I moved to LA. I actually, you know, met some friends who were gay and. Uh, gay dudes and lesbians and I'm like hey you guys are just like us mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys just want to be loved and do your thing yeah. do you know how ignorant I was I was saying this to someone the other day bro when I moved to Michigan I mean when I moved to California when I moved to Los Angeles it was my first encounter with like uh, a community of Latinos mm-hmm. so I would go hoop with them and I was like yo pff, Mexicans play basketball and they were like yeah wow. and then I saw a homie skateboard and I was like yo Mexican skateboard? He was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, yo, that's crazy. Yo, Mexican surf? They were like, yeah, yeah. dog, we, we do all those things that you guys do. I was like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, I never had any encounter with, and it was the same when I met gay people. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Shit be regular. Yeah. You just get what you see on TV if you see them out on TV because there's zero this? representation. 10 years ago? Just 2006. Yeah. So you know? 15 years ago, 15 years from now, you're gonna look back at this footage and be like, damn, I was, I really had an anchor problem. Damn, <laughs> wow, I've, I've matured a lot. Uh, well, I don't have an anger problem. That's what you're gonna say, though. 
I was full of rage. Look at me. I, I, I'm cringeworthy right now. Look, oh. I don't. I don't ever. Uh, I don't ever apologize for being ignorant. I know why. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I make fun of it. I embrace it. Yeah, I go like, hey man, there's a lot of shit I just didn't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't apologize for not growing, but I go like, dog, I'm never apologizing for shit I didn't know. You know, I really, had no idea. What's really disturbing <clears throat> is if you are an expert uh, in that field mm-hmm. and you you're talking from experience, but not facts. Mm-hmm. And then somebody corrects you, you'd be like, oh, I, I just didn't know that I'd do it the right way. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. And it's like, uh, like, hey, man, Dan, how you do this thing on Final Cut? Or how you shoot this ball? I'm like, all right, hey, I'm going to tell you this, how I do it. Mm-hmm. So they come in, Dion, you told me all the wrong way. And it's like, I am not an expert. I, I feel bad. <laughs> this happens way too often. Because a lot of times I'm freestyling things that I've Think I'm, hey, this is how you should do it. This is how I should edit. This mm-hmm. is how I should shoot. This mm-hmm. is how I do this. And they be like, man, you told me the long way. It's like, well, help me out. No, I, mean, I don't know. You ask me. Mm-hmm. This is what I do. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I was listening to Will Smith's book. Oh, good book. Yeah. Yeah, you enjoyed it? How far did you finish I, it? I am uh, right where he's about to divorce his first wife. It is one of my favorite biographies yeah. ever. It's, it's, a, it's a great TV series if they, if they decide to And you do an Audible, right? They were yeah. going to, but now, you know, since they... They going to do that as a, a TV he, he was selling his... He was uh, in a bidding war with Apple and Netflix for the rights to, to, to wield his book, his biography. Great. Um, but yeah. <laughs> something that he said, I don't know if you can quote it, remember it by verbatim, is... Um, People's opinions are only based off of their knowledge, their 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 expansion of what they know. Mm-hmm. It's like you got that I, pretty right, I believe. That right, sounds it's about like, right. It's like I've only seen this done this way. Mm-hmm. I can't make up how. Like so, if I'm if if you say hey when he's like his mom, he told his mom he wants to be a rapper. Mm-hmm. He's like. That has never happened before. <laughs> right. you have, there's never been a successful rapper. Right. You go to college, and that's how you get money. That's how I've done it. Right. And he was like, my mom's opinion of how rap is going to be was only her expansion of how far it has become. Right. So successful people in her past, from her experience, has gotten college, has went to college, mm-hmm. and, you know, started a business, had a business plan. So she, I want you to do this. So, but his dream was so far beyond her vision of how. Right. And and also you had like, you know, disco was hot and new, then disco right. died. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like Grand they had, opening, Grand Closing. There were Grammys for disco and now it's a it's a dead genre. Dead genre. And and genres do die. Mm-hmm. Right. And so you gotta be like Especially back in them days, yeah. and you came from the '60s, and all this shit was hard. And you get like, nah, bro. And people would preach education tough. Mm-hmm. Education, 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 education was uh, super disappointing. My parents not getting a degree. My mom still be like, I wish you got your degree. Right. I'm like, hey, hey, man, that, yeah. that ain't never happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is never happening. I don't, I don't see why. I know why, but I don't see why colleges and universities aren't free or. Are still relevant to this day. They don't. They don't necessarily have to be free for me. But these being fifty, and I think I've read something. It was in the eighties or nineties, late maybe mid late eighties, where it shot up. It used to be like two thousand dollars a month, but then it was became twenty and thirty right. and forty grand. But people pushed this education so hard. Mm-hmm. I can't start, bro. How can a degree be forty thousand yeah. dollars a semester? A, come on, bro. Yeah. What are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, especially you can do everything online, and they yeah, literally talking- stream. No. Their, their whole class is online. I don't need to go to your campus. I don't right. like. What am I paying for? <laughs> but they have all these people, all these people with doctors and all these cats that they have to pay. Have to pay hundreds of thousand dollars too. Please, a lot me. of these professors who have their own class write their own books. You have to mm-hmm. buy their book anyways. Right. You have to buy their book that they wrote for their class. <laughs> I'm not. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, and I'm not anti-education. I am anti. Uh, education system here in this country, dog, is right. trash. I read. I read. If you move to Australia, they're like they would send you to college for free and mm-hmm. stuff like that because they're trying to get people to live there. Is that true, Zoop? That's what I read. Yeah, Zoop, look that up. Look that up, Zoop. But well, I'm he, like, he's, I'm here. I don't gotta look it up, niggas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's no way, bro. Like I would ever go to college here at all mm-hmm. for anything. I mean, especially how we proved it in the the pandemic right. that it can work 
online only. You just stream it from home or stream it from the from the. Uh, I'd be giving heart surgeries on my back. <laughs> hey man, meet me in a back alley if you need a heart surgery, bro. No, I'm experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get the degree from? Show yes. me the degree to do for heart. for judges, lawyers, doctors. Yes. Nah, nah. I fam. need you to have that hands on experience. You I've done who? enough failures. I know how to get it right now. What if somebody told you, "Hey, dog, I know you can't afford to do this, but I know a guy. He fixed my heart." Seriously. <laughs> What's his name? Is Dr. what? No doctor, brother. <laughs> he identifies as a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, bro, he gets your whole new heart mm-hmm. in and out. In and out. $10,000. Mm-hmm. Now, how much do you think is going to be at the hospital? Uh, at least 100000 Come on, man. Yeah. Recovery and all. He got you. So there's actually a real story of this. <laughs> that's not. No. No, that's look not. It, look it up. No. Y'all look this up right now. There's a guy who uh veneers. Veneer, okay. So a guy a woman who was her expertise was grills. Mm-hmm. She picked grills in people's mouths. Mm-hmm. So she showed so she uh told a guy I can do grills as well. Mm-hmm. So she shaved the teeth the teeth down. Well, she did the, the, the incision, like you put it out. Oh, she did like the mold uh-huh. and stuff like that. Okay. And took his teeth out and then shaved them down. And the problem was he chose what color teeth he wanted. Mm-hmm. He chose the wrong color, so they came out like like brown. Mm. And obviously this is backyard sort of. You know, unprofessional. Like I, once it's in there, it's in there. Right. He said, "Why well, ain't paying you until you clean up?" Like this is the teeth you chose, mm-hmm. and now they're suing each other. He's like, "Hey, you can't put me on blast for saying I gave you bad teeth. I did the job. You chose that color." But then she's like, "He's like, you doing illegal?" Uh, it's like, "You came to me. <laughs> I, you owe me a thousand dollars." He was like, "Super cheap. You know, you know, veneers is like thirty thousand." And she agreed to do it for a thousand. Look it up. Everybody yo. going to jail. It, see, you, you see, like those, original. You said those like those uh, busted fixer flat people be putting them fixer flat in them girls' asses, mm-hmm. and they just be. Well, okay. Uh, Spicy says, if he was upfront and honest about it, it's all good. But the lies by omission, uh, but the lies by omission, keeping secrets, etc., can't do it. You should be in a safe place for you or for you for your significant other to be open with you through. Though, um, what are you talking about the gay thing? Here's the, all right. Here's my thought about that. Okay, see, lies by omission is not fair. Lies by omission is not fair. You're allowed to keep your past the past. You're allowed unless it affects your future. Unless, unless it's something on like, hey man, if if I get married to a woman, she doesn't know that I'm a wanted fugitive. <laughs> that's like yeah, yeah. like that's. But if I had a past, because I don't ever, I've never asked. My wife, how many people she's been with? I never, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't, I never ask. Like, even as one of your homies, I, I, I would he's never like, ask. Hey, do I'd, not tell. I would be like, no, no, even if, even if I did find out, what, I'm gonna divorce her. Yeah, no, no, you're not. I'm just like, what? okay, <laughs> but you, you, you get that feeling like you still mess around with yo man. <laughs> Look, why does he always do that every time he sees me? But then it'd be a problem. <laughs> no, my like, nigga, don't fucking touch me again. As a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my ma still wants me to go back and complete um, UNL. Oh, uni, university, even though I'm doing well for myself and starting my uh, rent trap life. There you go, Zoop. Man, figure that shit, man. Go, go into debt to get yourself back out of debt when you're already out of debt. You're already doing well. You're doing everybody's dream. Uh,. Tuition started rising once the government started guaranteeing student loans. Ah, makes sense. People are slowly waking up to the scam. Yeah. To the scam, it yo. It is. It is a scam. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a thing called HECS. This is from Zuper in Australia. Here, where the government f- where the government pays for your education and you pay it back in tax once you hit a certain tax bracket. Uh-huh. Stay broke, my friend. I love it. I agree. College should be free. We pay enough in taxes. Ain't that a damn truth? Oh, see... Oh, she jacked those teeth up. You get what you pay for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I saw that those teeth were doo doo brown. Mm-hmm. Damn, Shane Hilarious. I need to know y'all about his. I need to know all about his past. No, you don't. Only if it affects them, right? Uh, Spicer said he was between her legs getting the wieners, <laughs> the veneers done. Oh, like <laughs> I said, wieners. I'm like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so what if you found out your significant other was born a different gender? Ooh. Well, I'm five years in now. I'd be like, yeah, they did an amazing job. They did an amazing job. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even tell this was fake. This Hold was, on, first of all. This is an amazing job. Spicy. You can't do S slash O. Yeah. Because that Cause looks that's like shout out. shout out. That looks like shout out. I had to guess what it was. I had to be like, <laughs> significant, significant other. I was like, uh, I, I heard you both like. And to say, we fucking not. I know. I'm like, <laughs> hey man, somehow she managed to give birth. Yeah. My significant other somehow. managed to give birth. Now, now, if you were trying to conceive and you couldn't do it biologically and then you went to the doctor and he was like, hey man. Hold on. Here, here we go. Here we go. Perfect she scenario. Was a, she's a man first. This is why she can't have a baby. And he'd be like, yeah, you, you saw what we were trying to do. You. <laughs> That's different. Then I'm like, you knew damn well we talking about having kids, and you knew goddamn yeah, well we yeah. just fucking now. But they did a great <laughs> job on that whole. As much nut I shut up in you, and you talking about you can't have kids. They did a great job yeah, yeah. remixing that vagina. Uh huh. Uh, so here we go, ladies. This is the scenario because you said how how did she find out? Mm-hmm. What if, um, college, homie super drunk. He woke. He he woke up. To his homeboy drilling him in his ass, right? What? And <laughs> drilling? Yeah, <laughs> he's doing a number. He's like, yo, what are you doing? He said, so this is rape. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's rape. And then he started like, stop. He said, hey, hey, it's, you, you like it, right? He's like, it's not, it's not that bad. And then and then he'd be like, damn it, dude, I'm not gay. And then he's like, we ain't gotta say nothing. And he's like, dude, don't ever bring this up. I won't. And then now that you, he's never had sex with a man no more. Never been, been never been with a man. It was pretty much raped in college, right? By his homeboy. Okay. By his homeboy. He thought that his homeboy was gonna, he's gonna cross him over, convert him. Then now that you married, three or four kids, successful, his homeboy comes back and blackmails you like, I see how you live in your life, man. I want forty thousand dollars a year. Oh, I'm telling your wife that we were gay. And he's like, no, don't do this, man. But he's got like video or something. <laughs> sure, thank you for helping me out. Because I was just yeah. like, well, you gonna tell her this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he's like, he's like, don't do this, man. He's like, I'm telling if you don't pay me up. <laughs> and he did it for like three years. Like, damn it, I can't do this. I can't keep paying you. He's like, I'm telling your wife. And she's like, what is this? Damn it, man. This is the video. Yeah. It's the video. <laughs> she got Damn airdrops. it. And she said, are you gay? No, it's not. Why are you moaning saying you like this? I was drunk, babe, in college. I, it was one time. Mm-hmm. Ladies, we got to divorce him. And he tells you the scenario, would you be like, Damn it. Do you, do you think you owe your spouse to tell her everything? Like everything, Mm-mm. that's a lot of no, things. No, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. There's some shit I don't want you to know about me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. I can't. Th- I can't think of anything that I'd be like. I can't tell you about this, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure if it's not, it's probably nothing. Every everything. What are we talking about? I mean, the whole point of having a spouse is to look good in their eyes. You don't want to tell them like. Man, me and my homeboys, we, we whooped this little woman's ass and, and took her government we, check. We, we were younger. Yeah, yeah. We scammed a lot of old people. Back in the day, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. So you got the... No, man, you got to let the, the past be the past, Yeah, what's man. the uh, if, if, a, if It's the only problem if you want your own kids and everyone wants to adopt. Uh, true that. Dion got some dark secrets somewhere. Yeah, he does. I do. Homeboy about to be a eunuch. Uh, Zoop ain't playing that shit. It's crazy <laughs> how women can explore yep. in college uh, or whatever. But if men have experiences, it's held against them forever. Very true. Yep, yep. Uh, for men, it's always like, yeah. Are you, are you done experimenting or you want to get back on that uh, science <laughs> lab and see what we can find? Guys are with it. Yeah, you know, the thing is, the funny thing is. <laughs> You done with it? I be, I be trying to find you know, a type of woman. Like, what are you find her attractive? No. <laughs> because I think because we train our brains in porn, like, oh, we got we got <laughs> we got more holes to put the thing in, <laughs> put the peen inside. We got more holes to play with. Mm-hmm. More holes, the merrier. Uh, let's see, Jamoya says he should. Have told her then he wouldn't have been blackmailed. No, man. Yeah, I'm not telling you I got I'm raped. I'm not telling college. you that. I'm not telling you got raped. No. 
I'm not telling you I got drilled and liked it. <laughs> if it came out, I'd be like, I feared this day. <laughs> I always knew this day would go. <laughs> this is how I do it. This is how I watch it. like, yeah, come on, baby. He's like, Dion, is this you? I'm like, dude. Yeah. Turn the TV off. I knew this day was coming. <laughs> Dude, dude. Hey, you gotta go slow. You turn, turn, turn the shades, <laughs> close the shades, turn off the lights. You start, you start baby proofing the furniture, <laughs> just in case you won't start throwing stuff. But she's like, I actually wanted to be with two guys. I'm like, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Let me call Jamal back because I do too. I was joking, nigga. <laughs> I didn't like it. It's gonna it's gonna be more acceptable <laughs> one day that gay is, is the average regular thing. One day is gonna be as normal as anything else, sure. right? Just like black people are normal, right? But there was also a huge push in uh, Christian agenda and the Bible, what well, not to condemn gay, mm-hmm. right? Like it's it's literally a verse in the Bible that condemns gay, mm-hmm. and now it's a big fight to uncondemn gay, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think that. What happens to a lot of people, no matter what they believe, belief, brainwash, whatever you want to call it, if you really believe this stuff, is that humanity gets, not downsides, what's the word? Um, humanity gets uh, devalued, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, for no matter what your interest is or what your like is. If you're not a part of the normal, if you're not a part of us, then you're an outcast. You know, if you're not a part of Christianity, if you're not a part of. Buddhist, whatever the community has that stronghold on. If you're not a part of us, you're you're the outcast. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, because there were whole communities that had gay dudes and gay people, and it was a normal thing. You were yeah. allowed to to do those things, and those places got burnt, and people got burnt alive. Right. You know what I mean? So, I'm hoping one day it all gets back to a place where. Um, it's as normal as breathing in his regular everyday life that everybody can go outside no matter if you're a man with a beard and you identify as whatever uh, you're accepted and you feel safe outside because that's the goal is to make sure you can walk outside and you and your family feel safe right no matter what color creed you identify as and i think eventually it's going to be way more about classism money status than anything than race or gender or sex because mm-hmm. uh, it's really going to be broke or poor like he's gay but he's rich they accept yeah. gay rich people are accepted. Mm-hmm. Poor, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> poor gay people are not. Th- throw them on the skate on the stakes. Right, black rich people are well more accepted mm-hmm. than you know gay or uh, rich Mexican people, Absolutely. Latino people are accepted. Yeah, yeah. Wealthy are accepted no matter what you are. Mm-hmm. You know, and then and we're gonna read these last comments. We should wrap it up. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, so there's a few of them here. You should have told her. Okay. Uh, and Suzette says, your past always follows you. Tell me everything. I don't need to be CX shocked. CX shocked? Cock shocked? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Uh, Spice Original <coughs> says, the man raped him, then he had the nerve to blackmail him. Nah, you got to shoot that man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zoop says, ain't no blackmail. He raped me, and now I want to blackmail me for it. He has to go. That's <laughs> how we're seen to be uh, two for two. Candace Muhammad says, uh, until women create a judgmental free zone, there will always be down low men. Bars, hmm. yo. That's what he said on... Uh, on uh, Who said it? No, so it, was a, it was a line on For Colored Girls. It was Omari Hardwick's line. Mm-hmm. He was like, uh, so you gay? You let another man fuck you? I'm not but let no man fuck you. I'm doing the fucking. Something like that. Still gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamoy Jamison says, Jimison, Jimison says, you should trust her with your secrets. Nope. You know, females are, you know, females or most don't want their man. She said she was with no one else. Uh, Tony said on keep your distance was so true. Um, yeah, because th- there's some things that are like secrets. Um, and there's some things that are secrets for a reason. And I think there are some things that are, you just don't tell somebody until something comes right. up. You're just like, oh, it just ne- it never came up. I didn't think they'd tell you. Help nobody. And it's not, it's probably not even that deep anymore. A lot of those things don't affect my future, but it just gives you something to, to judge. I have to give you something to accept me for. Mm-hmm. I've, I've done some dark stuff that was like, I can't, there's no way I can make this comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way I can make fun of this. Yeah. It's like, I just have to let that go. Truth is better than a lie. Than the lie, for sure. But an omission, 
doesn't necessarily mean it's not a lie. Now, if I don't tell you something on purpose because mm-hmm. I'm trying to keep it away from you, right? That's a and different it's thing. It's not helping. If I was like, "Hey, honey, how are you doing? How's your cornflakes?" Can I tell you a phase that I used to like little girls? Right. In my thirties, right. I didn't do anything. I never touched her, but I I had the feeling. But just just throwing it out there. Whoa, where are you coming? Why is it coming up now? Right. Just wanted to just want to be honest with you. Mwah. <laughs> Have enjoy, a great day. Enjoy your day. Every day I'm gonna give you a little, <laughs> a little more. Doug, I, I, there's no way on earth I can tell somebody everything I think or everything I've done. There's no way. There's, there's no way. Especially if I tell people what I thought every day. Yeah. Fuck no. Mm-mm. What? Yeah. Um, but too much. But too much truth isn't helpful. Mm-mm. And and uh, there's some people things people just be like I just can't take this I can't accept it it's on my mind but you best money because uh, but you lost money because you can't trust your girl but you lost money because you can't trust your girl oh you talking about for the, the scenario mm-hmm. that, I'm, I'm, that's not fair he came out of nowhere <laughs> both times <laughs> pun intended <laughs> pun intended <laughs> he was blindsided by <sighs> penis both times what was he supposed to do <sighs> what was he supposed to do hmm. We are hour and 30 in. You can come back. Uh, all right. Thank you guys for watching another fantastic episode. You not going to say the F word? No. Uh, Black Aronia and Chaz, thank you guys so, so much. If you're watching this on here, mm-hmm. please subscribe to Lactose Entertainment, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. L-A-C-K-T-O-A-S-T-E-N-T mm-hmm. on YouTube so you can have a live chat with us. Mm-hmm. And then you can see Dion do all his impressionations. <laughs> I brought it back. He thought it was over, Davey. I not. And then he's going to get angry and try to <laughs> cuss me out with racist slurs. Good old Chasman. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. Um, come back next week and shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? <laughs> all right. You guys can stay there. We're going to do this and we'll come back. Peace, y'all. <clears throat> no toodaloo? No toodaloo!